time it, YouTube, and welcome back to another episode of Theme Deck Corner. Today we are going to be looking over Tapu Koko GX's Electric Mischief. Um, this deck is obviously featuring the popular Tapu Koko GX, 170 HP Electric Basic. Uh, we have the Arrow Trail ability. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may move any number of Electric Energy cards uh, from other Pokemon to this Pokemon, and if you do, you will switch this Tapu Koko with the current active, making him the new primary attacker. Um, his attacks consist of Sky High Claws, 2 Electric, 1 Colorless, 130 damage, and Tapu Thunder GX, 2 Lightning, 1 Colorless. It's going to do 50 times the amount of energy on your opponent's side of the board. Now, this Pokemon has some pretty high damage at the same point of having a, eh, I would call it a two-shot, uh, main attack so we'll see how it runs now here is the remainder of the deck remember this is a theme deck format you can get this tin from purchasing the Tapu Koko GX uh, tin and the Tapu Bulu tin uh, will give you a Tapu Bulu deck as well so you guys can get all these wonderful things on the game I'm um, starting the other Pokemon lineup is gonna be beware 130 HP colorless Pokemon We have the racket in ability when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon You can draw three cards uh, pretty good But I don't know how well it will be in the regular standard format because these decks have to be played standard uh, They cannot be played in theme deck format uh, we have the Dangerous Blow attack for 3 colorless energy, we can do 60 damage if your opponent's active Pokemon is a basic, this attack will do 60 more damage, so we have the potential to do 120 damage uh, with him. We have the Vikavolt, the Stage 2 Vikavolt, 150 HP electric Pokemon, has the ability Strong Charge once during your turn. You may search your deck for either a Grass or Electric Energy and attach them to your Pokemon any way you like, then shuffle your deck afterwards. Uh, it has the attack Electro Cannon, 1 Lightning, 3 Colorless, 150 damage, discard 3 energies from this Pokemon. We really don't want to attack with Vikavolt if we do plan to set it up at any time in the game. Uh, we do have two full Stage 2s, so that'll be kinda hard to get here. Uh, we have the Alolan Golem, Stage 2, 160 HP, uh, Lightning type, with Electromagnetic Rock Wrecker. What a name! For one Lightning, two Colorless, we're gonna do 80 damage. Uh, for f you get to flip a coin for each Lightning Energy attached to this Pokemon. This attack does 80 damage for each Heads. So there's no guaranteed damage on that, but if you land three heads, if you've got three lightning energy on it, you're gonna do some damage, which is not bad. You have the heavy slam attack as well, one lightning, three colorless, 200 minus. We haven't seen minus in a little bit. And what happens here is we're gonna do 30 less damage for each retreat, or er, like each colorless in their retreat cost. So if they're heavier, they're taking less damage. Okay, okay, so we can't squish the heavy guys. Makes sense. Lastly, we do have the Togedemaru 70 HP Lightning Pokemon with Defense Curl and Discharge. Defense Curl, you get to, it costs you one colorless energy, flip a coin, if heads prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks during your opponent's next turn, you also have Discharge uh, for one Lightning. You're going to discard all Lightning energy from this Pokemon that's attacked as 30 damage times the number of energies discarded this way. Really do not want to use Togedemaru if we do not have to. Now, we are being forced to use an energy lotto. Look at the top seven cards of your deck. You may reveal an energy card from there, and if you do, you can put it into your hand. Remember, it's not max elixir. It doesn't get directly attached to the Pokemon. It does go straight to your hand. Uh, you get to shuffle all of the rest of your cards back into the deck. Next up is the energy recycler. Shuffle five basic energies from your discard pile back into your deck. There is a little bit of energy negation, so it's all right to have. Uh, we have some energy switches, move a basic energy from one of your Pokemon to another. We have the Field Blower, choose up to two in any combination of Pokemon two cards and stadiums in play, and discard them. Uh, we have a couple Max Potions, which does work well with Tapu Koko. You kind of switch one in, like if one's in the active position, it's taking a lot of damage. You bring in the second one, you take all the energy, you bring the Tapu Koko back into the uh, bench, and you Max Potion it up, so it should be ready to go again. Uh, pretty nice. We have one Nest Ball. You get to search your deck for basic Pokemon, so that'll get us Stuffle, uh, Grubbin, our Geodudes, our Tapakokos, and potentially a Toga tomorrow, but I doubt it. Next up is Pokeball. I'm really not happy that this is, this is really in here, uh, but we get to flip a coin. If heads, you get to search your deck for any Pokemon, which is cool. Uh, we have Repel. Your opponent switches the active Pokemon with one of their benched. 
You don't get to choose, which is the why it's not as good as the Lysander. Uh, we do have a timer ball, flip two coins. If heads, you can grab some evolutions. Unfortunately, I wish there was a few more, considering we do have two stage two lines. Um, we do have the Aether Paradise Conservation Area, and I do want to make a quick point. For those of you who have watched the Galissapod deck, a viewer did mention that I made a mistake on the Aether Paradise, and at the moment, you should be running the uh, Force of Giant Plants, because Aether Paradise only works on basic grass or lightning type Pokemon, so Galissapod would not be able to stack that additional damage. Um, uh, but pretty much... You get to take 30 less damage from your opponent's attacks, which makes Tapu Koko a little bit more bulky. Um, we have one Hala. So shuffle your deck into your shuffle your hand back into your deck. If you have used your GX attack, draw seven. If not, draw four. Uh, we have a couple How. Draw three cards. We have an Alima. Each player shuffles their hand back into their deck and then flips a coin for each heads that player draws six or tails uh, for three. Uh, we do have Choice Bands, which is very helpful because Choice Bands are everywhere right now. Uh, the attack of this Pokemon, this card is attached to do 30 more damage to your opponent's active GX or EX. Uh, and then of course we have 4 Grass for... I really don't know why you're in here. Is it for you? I, I don't know why we have Grass Energy. There's no reason to have it. Um, but we also have, you know... I think it's what 14 electric energy 14 four minute yeah 14 so that is the deck that you will be picking up when you get the top of Coco GX um, the question is is it playable and is it worthwhile to get that is what we're gonna try and see right now on the TCGO in a couple quick TCGO matches all right guys match number one is here we're going up against GJH 152 I don't know what they're playing we're gonna call Tails. We're gonna lose the coin to us, so here we go, G. You can go for whatever you'll want. You can go first, you can go second, you can go a little, uh, I guess those are the only two options. You can't just kind of, boop. I don't know. All right, this coin toss is going to take a bit. There he goes. Takes the first turn like expected. Says hello, I will say the same thing. Hello. Uh, your opponent had no basics. And we are going to start ourselves with a Stuffle. We do have the Beware line. I can throw down a Choice Band onto Stuffle. Stuffle can get some damage down, I guess. We're going to be going second, so... Ah, we can get a Tackle off. He is running Metagross GX. This will be kind of cool to see. I have not actually seen Metagross yet, so that will be something fun to watch. Um, kind of a cool idea to always play... A bunch of new decks on here as well. Everybody has some really cool concepts with cards as they come out. Um, I'd love an additional card. We're gonna get a nothing. Gonna get a Pokeball. So Choice Band, he is running Solgaleo Metagross um, and does just drops the Steel Energy onto the Beldum in the back. We're gonna get an Energy onto that Stuffle. I'm gonna Choice Band up. I'm gonna try and go for something here, but we're gonna fail and unfortunately... Whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on. Thank you for that prompt. I'm going to attack. I get 10 damage down. I know that seems like pfft, damage, but uh, we're getting something. Whereas he hasn't gotten anything yet. <clears throat> we're doing pretty good. Now, I can evolve into the Beware, but I really shouldn't. Uh, we're going to see that dust gathering right now. Neither one of us has played a supporter yet. Uh, I don't have many. Uh, I have an Alolan Graveler now, so we're just going to drop a nice electric energy. I can get that Tapu Koko now at any time, and I should be able to play him. I'm going to evolve, because I don't want to go down one turn anyway. And I do apologize for these messages. I have recently had to reinstall again. Uh, I can grab more cards. I got a How. We can get a Grubbin down, and I might be able to get that full Vickle Vault line down as well. I do have to pass though, uh, just due to the fact that I did not get anything worthwhile here. Uh, my opponent does play Altar of the Sun, Fire, and Steel Pokemon have no weakness. So, not that I'd be hitting them for weakness anyway, but they're tr gonna try and bring up my Grubbin, I guess. They're bringing up the Grubbin, they're stalling out. Unfortunately, Vickville does have a high retreat cost. 
Okay. I can just evolve here. Again, as soon as I can get a Tapu Koko, we're all right. We'll repel. Force you to discard those energies if you want to do anything. And unfortunately, I do have to pass. I'm actually shocked that the repel did work nicely. I got that good old Cosmog out of the active spot. Not that I can attack right now, but we are in a decent spot. I don't know. I, I'm not in a great spot, but I can at least go into my Vic Volt. Um, I'm shocked at how heavy he really is for a beetle. But uh, we're getting lucky. Our opponent hasn't played too much other than the Lysander. Does naturally just switch, so they had to discard that Steel Energy. Um, do you just go for a Dust Gathering is the question. They do just go for a Dust Gathering. And we'll have a Vicavolt on the field, which is actually pretty cool. I have not played Vicavolt before, so we hard swap that in. I can drop that down onto Vicavolt, and I'm going to go for a nice strong... Uh, I guess that's what the the grass energy is for. Can you put it on... Oh, I can grab a grass as well. Interesting. So I can grab two energies. So next turn I should be able to actually attack with the... I could have attacked this turn with the Vicavolt, but I did make a misplay. That's alright. I'm learning. I am learning. I have not played Vicavolt before. He is from Sun and Moon, and as much as I was doing a whole bunch of stuff with it, I did not actually play Vicavolt. Uh, we are going to get a nice Grass Energy down onto you, and really, I just need to get an Electric Energy now. Boom. And we're going to put it on the Vicavolt. We can actually attack here, and we're going to get rid of this guy who's collecting all his energy. I do have to discard three energy to do it, but you know what? I'm okay with that, because I can attack next turn as well. We are going to gain one prize, and that's going to be a Pokeball. Maybe it'll be for that Tapu Koko. Because if I can get that Tapu Koko right now, it would be incredible. Uh, we're one Pokemon also away from getting the Alolan Ge uh, Golem, technically, full line. Uh, he does get another Cosmog, does not get a chance to uh, move it. Uh, I'm going to go for another Howl. Um, I'm going to Field Blower, get rid of all his uh, utility. Boom and boom. No no stadium or choice band for you. Uh, we're going to attempt to Pokeball again. We fail. So we need to drop... I'm going to drop this down here. I'm going to at least get a strong charge off. Get both of my grass and my electric energy. And we're going to attach them both right to my Vicavolt. We'll be able to attack again. Getting ourselves another full hit. Unfortunately, I do have to sacrifice all these energies once more. And we're going to grab ourselves another prize here. And it's going to be the energy lotto. Not that I need energy. I still have three in my hand and I can search for the two I'm missing. So we still have another turn to attack. Vicavolt's doing all the work. Uh, we're going to see another choice band and it's going to hit another dust gathering. This match is really janky. Uh, I can drop a choice band on to... Oh, no, I'm not dropping that. I'll be honest with you, I'd rather not. Um, we have not seen... Tapu Koko is in the deck, we just have not drawn it. Uh, we are going to get the Lightning Energy into our hand. Which is cool. Uh, do we have more Grass Energy still in here? Yeah, we do. We got another full turn of this. And we're just going to drop both of them down. We're going to claim our third prize with our Vicavolt. This is actually kind of insane that this has been working. Four energies, three a turn. It's been pretty good. We're going to get ourselves a max potion. He's only got the Beldum left, and unfortunately we can't grab our last grass energy. Oh, now he plays a Scizor. We're going to see Ultra Ball. He's got some cards now. He must have been holding back a little bit or something. But uh, if I could get a Tapu Koko right now, it would be great. I could get this thing out of the way. Oh, now he's got Tapu Lele. Now the steam of this deck is coming out. We're going to have to fall. We're probably going to fall behind a little. Uh, 
Uh, but I can actually put the energy on here to retreat out into my beware and start attacking that way. We're gonna get end, which actually I'm I couldn't be happier. Because really I need a Tapu Koko. I really need a Tapu Koko. Oh, right. I don't get six prizes. I get three. This is a bit of a problem. Does retreat into the scissor. And that is it. He just passes the turn. We finally are going to get this Tapu Koko, though. Oh, yeah. Here he comes. He goes right to the bench, though, and not onto the... Oh, I made a misplay. He has to be from the hand. It's okay. It is okay. We're going to grab our Grass Energy, attach it to our Vicavolt, and I'm going to full-on retreat. Into our beware. I made a small misplay, and I admit it. But we're gonna do 150 damage to the Scizor. Scizor cannot knock out my beware, at least I don't think so. And we should be able to eliminate the Scizor, getting us down to that one prize. Beware putting in some work, Vicavolt putting in the work, Top of Coca kinda just showing up for the game, you know, not doing too much. We're gonna get end again, I'm alright with this. I should have dropped the Grubbin down so we wouldn't redraw it. Um, again, kind of looking for a Tapu Koko. No, I get an Energy Recycler, which is good. Um, I can start grabbing Electric Energy and stuff like that as well. He is going to get rid of our field, our Choice Band off of the Beware, but that's not the end of the world. Uh, we're going to see the Golden Ultra Ball come through, gets rid of Via Seeker and a Cosmom. He's got way too much stuff going in here, I think, is my, is my expectations. That's why it's kind of clunky. Uh, having two stage two lines and a scissor line, I don't know. B is going to draw up with that shaman. Uh, I can't draw out of it. We're going to see the rare candy. He is going to get that Solgaleo down now. I lie, he gets the Metagross now. Trainer's Mail comes in. Via Seeker. He can still end us. No, he already ended this turn. He already ended this turn. Uh, he has no energy on the board, which is great for me. There you go, steal energy down onto the scissor. Um, grabs a second energy. And just retreats. Huh. Well, we're going to get a choice band back on this thing. Get that energy recycler going. Uh, I can grab... What is it? I grab three grass and two lightning. Done. Put them all back in. And uh, we'll go for some strong charges. Put them both onto Tapu Koko. Now we just need to get a nice electric energy now onto that Tapu Koko, and we should be able to go here. I'm going to make it so that if he does end us, I'm not threatened by it. I'm going to get 90 damage down onto this Metagross. He's sitting at what? 160? So not quite in range of our uh, Tapu Lele. But with each energy he drops, we're getting a little bit better. And if he wants to end right now, that is great. I'll just draw three cards. No complaints whatsoever. That's why I played these two. And they're going to be energies and a max potion. I couldn't be any happier. Could not be any happier. Now he does need some energy to get going here. Search your deck for up to five cards and put them into your hand. So he should be going for the Algorithm GX, because he can't attack. Does get a Matang. And the Rare Candy comes off. He's going to evolve into that Solgaleo. So now he has that full retreat he wants to do if he needs to attack or anything. Um, which he's going to do. He's actually going to come in with the Ultra Road. Geotech system lets him grab a Psychic Energy, or Steel Energy, and attach it to the Solgaleo. He will go for that Soul Burst. But the question is, who is he coming into? Because he's literally just giving my Tapu Koko a lot of... He just gets himself a Double Colorless Energy, which doesn't work. You got... 
5, 10, 15, 20. I'm going to drop down my energy onto the good old Tapu Koko. What a play. You need a steel energy to do 230 damage. We're just going to go for a nice dangerous blow. We're just out of range of knocking out the Solgaleo. And unfortunately I had no choice. If he's going to be a Seeker, he will play it. And he'll Lysander up my... Uh, he'll Lysander up my Tapu Koko. He's going for another Metagross, so he'll have all this powerful lineup on the field now. And he can kind of retreat, do what he wants to do. But he's, what he's not aware of is I only need three prizes. And if he wants to start taking out some of my chip guys, it's fine. I can easily set up still. And as long as I can get that Tapu Thunder off, we'll be okie dokie. Okie dokie. Does get that Steel Energy. We'll definitely, definitely be going for that Sun Steel Strike um, against my Beware. And he is just going against the Beware. I'm actually going to eliminate this Solgaleo completely from the game. Uh, he had to eliminate all that energy. Actually... That's an interesting play. He's he's already used his GX attack, so he has no energy on the field. So my EX attack does not work. I want to start getting that strong energy back onto... I still don't have a ton of energy on it, but let's get Vickavolt all kind of set up here. I am going to have to hit this thing with the Sky High Claws, because the Tapu Thunder will not knock it out. He's only going to take 100. Uh, he's only got 90 damage down. So this will put him at 220, leaving him with 30 HP, uh, and he can switch out at any time. He can't go for that algorithm anymore. He has used the Ultra Road attack, and uh, he can't get a ton of energy. He will be only drawing up to 6 cards here, and he has only 8 cards left in the deck. There really isn't much going for him. Solgaleo doesn't have all that much going for him right now. He can switch out all he wants, just does get that Geotech. But this guy's already got 90 damage down onto it. Now you can hit for 150. Wait. No, my Tapu Thun- Oh no. We're in trouble, guys. We're in real trouble. <laughs> We're in trouble here. We're in real trouble here. Um, I have to holla. Holla! I got nothing out of that. I've got two Vickavolts going right now. And one energy left in the deck. Oh man, this is a problem. I think we've run our course. Uh, cause 150 is not gonna knock this thing out. Is it? No, it's gonna be 240. And with the ability to just switch back and forth, he should be good to go. Um... There isn't enough energy res restoration in this. And unfortunately, we're probably gonna go down here. My opponent gave us an early lead, but the minute these GXs started showing up, I have no control, I have no Lysander or anything like that in my deck to keep the initiative. So unfortunately, it means that I'll probably go down. Now, I can Alima, I can do all those kind of wonderful things, but here comes Tapu Lele. Uh, it does, definitely will get another energy, and it'll just start tweaking down in Vickable. Uh, but I've lost every energy I currently have in the deck. I have 12 and 4 currently in the discard pile. Uh, just because I've had to use Vickavolt's attack so many times because I got unlucky with Pokeballs and all that kind of stuff early game. Uh, we are going to see 80 damage onto Vickavolt. Uh, I have to Elima. I need to draw 6. Thank you. Not really the hand I'm hoping to get. 
I have nothing to be drawing into, that is my problem. Like, I can go for my strong charge right now, and yeah, I have no energy. So this matchup will be given to the Metagross, even though I don't feel it was a fair match for him. Like, er, like we just got... We didn't get outplayed. We were doing the best we could do. There's just... We ran out of steam. That's all I can say. Um, I'm not even going to bother. I have nothing I can do here. I'm probably going to just hold off another turn. Give it, I'm going to give him the win here. Um, I might. I don't know if I'll concede, because there's nothing I can do. Um, at this point, the best play to do is to concede. I can't gain any energy, as far as I know. Um, the only one energy recycler is already in the discard pile. So, sadly, I think we just gave him the whole win. Um, there's not much else I can do. Uh, but we'll see on our next draw. If I don't get anything on this particular draw, I will unfortunately concede. But we are close! Like, we had three of them down to just nothing. And if we had one, just one Lysander. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to unfortunately concede this matchup. We did a... I'm gonna... He said hello. I'm gonna say, well played. And unfortunately, I will be conceding here. There's nothing I can do. There is no energy. And unfortunately, that's just how it is. The Tapu Coco deck just kind of... The mischief wasn't there. Um... But it could have also just been to the lack of getting the right cards at the right time. We took forever to get Air Tapu Koko. Um, we were not able to get two of them, uh, two of them through the Pokeballs, and I made a mistake on the Tapu Koko draw, which could have got us another uh, turn. If I had gotten another Pokemon off that Nest Ball, it might have been a better turnout. I'm not 100% sure. I did make a misplay there, but I don't think it would have cost us in the long run. Uh, they did one shot our Tapu Koko with the Metagross anyway. Um, but we will be going into game number two here and seeing if we can actually pull through with a win. Alright guys, we're here for match two. Yam Yam Boy is our opponent playing Fighting, Colorless, and Psychic. Uh, it definitely could be a lot of things. Uh, but we are going to go first here. We do want to get that opportunity to kind of set up if we can. We actually have no Pokemon whatsoever, so we are going to have to pass this first turn. Give our opponent a nice mulligan, because I don't have an N. We do have a Lima in the deck, so we might be able to do that way. A Lima turn one would be great. But unfortunately, my Pokemon or my opponent has played a ton of Pokemon already. Uh, we're leading in with the Tapu Koko. That's all we can do. Now we do have the Aether Paradise Conservation Area, so we will be able to take a little less damage. Are we seriously playing the same thing we just played? Wow. Alright. Can we make a comeback here? I'm going to set myself up a little bit better. Try and get some more Pokemon. Uh, nope. Nothing. Um, we are just going to go with the Pokeball. Uh, we are going to land it. I want to get that Grubbin out ASAP. It did a ton of work in the last game. And if I can get those Vicavolts kind of flowing nicely, I would love it. Because we are going to need as much energy as we can get early game uh, to kind of go up against this new combatant. Uh, we're going to see Nest Ball. Uh, definitely going to be going for a another Cosmog. It's actually kind of funny that we are playing against the same sort of deck that we were just playing against. Um, I'm going to drop another... Electric energy here, and unfortunately, that is going to be my turn. I can't uh, do anything. Um, we should be able to get some stuff going here. Uh, does have the Cosmom now? Does have double Cosmom? So regardless of the state here, oh, has an extra drill as well. We're we're going to be in a bit of trouble here. Drops energy down onto the uh, extra drill, and we are going to have to start watching what we're doing. Now, we are going to take less damage due to the fact of being a, an electric type. Um, but we're going to get the first prize here. But as you guys remember in the first match, that doesn't matter. We are going to get Stuffle. Kind of was hoping to get the uh, Charger Bus. The good old Charger Bug. Um, Lily is going to help him get six cards. And it's another Beldum onto the field. Cosmog. He's got a lot of basics, a lot of Pokemon in there with the Timer Ball does get one of them so he'll be looking for that good old uh Solgaleo which we are gonna try and eliminate like ASAP 
if he's gonna Soul Burst, I will be going for that Tapu Thunder, and that way my Hala can kind of go off nice and early. He has two Solgaleos. Okay. That's a bit of a problem. Soul Burst GX is gonna go off. He's gonna pick up what? At least, he gets up to five energy of whatever he wants. Uh, steal energy onto the Solgaleo. Two energy onto the Solgaleo. Three energy onto the Solgaleo. On to Exadrill, and on to the Exadrill. So we've got two full attackers. We have one Solgaleo up in the front. The GX attack has been used. Um, I'm not drawing very nicely. The only thing I have right now is my Tapu Koko, and therefore I really do need to go for that GX attack. Uh, I need to start setting up one of the babies in the back. There are no item cards on my opponent's side. Uh, he's just got a lot of stuff set up. This is the only chance I'm going to have. Yes, I'm aware of how this works. And we're going to at least eliminate one Solgaleo from the game. But I have to actually work at getting the other ones out of here. And I didn't draw anything worthwhile. I didn't draw anything worthwhile. This Solgaleo can come in and one-shot my Tapu Koko now. Like, there was nothing I could do. It, it would be... Use, he's going to Ultra Road into the other one anyway. So regardless of my out, output, at least I'm getting prizes. But unfortunately, uh, my opponent is just getting a bunch of cards. It's a little bit more well-constructed than the previous one. Or at least he's getting more lucky. Um, but his Solgaleo has completely gone off properly. He has Sunsteel Strike me. Um, struck me, I guess it is. Uh, down goes 3 energy. He'll be able to switch and do his extra drill at any time. I'm going to come in with my Stuffle. And hope for the best. I got a Grass Energy. Or Electric Energy. Oh boy. Oh, and that was with the reduced damage, by the way. Uh, we are going to tackle for 10. So we did 10 damage to the mighty legendary Solgaleo. Um... But I think we're in trouble, guys. He can Ultra Road into the good old Exadrill here. He has the ability to attack twice. Uh, he can Dredge if he wants. And then he can Mock Cloth twice for 100. We're going to see that the end is going to go off, which is beautiful. Except that I only have three prizes left. And that means my hand is going to be pretty poop. We do get the Charge Bug. Uh, so we can Evolve, which is kind of nice. Uh, I would have preferred the Beware. But we're probably going to go down here. He will be able to attack us twice. And unless I get a basic Pokemon, I will be going down here. Here comes the Mac Claw again. Down comes Stuffle. Uh, I will definitely be losing this matchup. This, this, against Solgaleo's apparently Tapu Koko can't handle it. Alright. Up comes the Charge Bug. We're going to attempt... And we fail. So the deck did not want us winning this matchup. I can't do anything. Um, I'll be saying, you know, well played. Well played from my opponent. And unfortunately, that is going to be it. There is not much I can do here. <laughs> he's telling me I have a good deck. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, he's just trying to make me feel better, I think. Overall, I think, I think this one isn't all that great. There's nothing really keeping it going. Uh, the Tapu Koko is a really janky card and needs its ba it needs good partners with it anyway. Um, you can easily easily run Jolteon or you can easily run your Raikou. He's actually gonna leave me in the game for one turn. Welp! He only needs to keep me around a little longer. He really just wants to see what I can do. And I will get a Tapu Koko here. But I'm not going to play it. I want to have that opportunity to come in and attack. Like, turn one. So, unfortunately, I'm just going to... Oh. I can't do that. He'll knock out my energy. Well, we can at least go for the paralysis. And we fail on that, too. Our opponent is going to Wally into the uh, uh, Metang. He is one step closer to Metagross. Um, energy drop onto the Solgaleo, which is a great play. He is going to Mock Claw, eliminate everything in the field that I have. Going to leave me with a nice Grubbin. Just a Grubbin. 
I've got just a grubbin, and he is going to hit me for 20, because I am a basic grass type. You're not getting rid of me that easily, my boy. I'm actually going to play my Tapu Koko safely in the back. Um, I have to play it, because there's really not much else I can do. And uh, at this point, I'm going to Elima. I don't really need the cards in my hand. Um, he can get more utility as well. I'm going to draw six, which is great. I'm going to get a ton of basics that I really don't need. My opponent just needs to shut off my Coco, and that will be this matchup. And, uh, yeah. I can max potion my good old Grubbin. I can do it. I take less damage from him. He won't be able to actually knock me out, which is great. But another Sunsteel Strike from a Solgaleo will take me out. He's got the full art Metagross GX as well, uh, and that will still do quite a bit of damage. Geotech is going to start getting all those energies back and start doing a ton of stuff. He's got four energy. Why would you put another energy on your exit drill? I don't understand. I don't understand. Cosmom is up. He's going to Wally. He's going to get that Solgaleo. Look at that field. What is it this week, this episode with so many stage twos? I was saying, you know what, at the start of this, having stage twos is really difficult. My opponents are proving me wrong. My opponents are proving me wrong. Uh, here comes the Giga Hammer. It is what it is. Um, I'm going to come in with my Tapu Koko GX. And uh, we're going to go down, guys. We're going to go down. Uh, there is nothing I can do. I can't attack. Like, there's nothing I can do. And, uh, we're gonna see an energy retrieval. He's gonna get more energy from that discard pile. Two steel energies specifically. One going definitely onto that Solgaleo. So he'll have one fully set up. And he'll probably have the other ones all set up if he really wanted to as well. Um, but yeah. Ultra Road, he's gonna bring in a new attacker. Has to bring in Solgaleo, and this will be the game. Um, I'm just going to say again, well played. My opponent is going to go for a VS Seeker. Wally. Don't know why. And Sunsteel Strike will eliminate my Tapu Koko. Overall, I don't think this deck has a whole lot going for it. So, unless you're picking up the Tapu Kokos for your regular Tapu Koko deck, like, again, running it the way that it should be, um, I wouldn't pick up this deck. Uh, the, 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 it's just not a great deck in general. The The power is not there. Um, we couldn't even take out a slow stage 2 deck. If you remember in the first match, couldn't even take us out some wins. Yeah, we got a little bit unlucky, but we were not able to max out the damage. The question is, will Tapu Bulu be able to do the same thing? Or will he be able to actually come back and prove that one of these tins is worth buying. Um, but that is going to be it for me today. If you guys are brand new here, please hit the subscribe button because it does mean the world to me that you guys can come back and watch the videos on a regular basis. Um, but like I said, that is going to be it for me. I'm going to get out of here. You have yourselves a wonderful uh, Wednesday and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. But until then, time out.